All right, good evening, guys. My name is Scarry Navarro. I am the Drama King, where life is drama, drama is life. And I'm going to talk about um, some videos um, that I originally was about to do for one telenovela, but I decided to change it up a little bit and do a video about, about telenovelas. I came out the year I was born. All right, then. If you guys don't know, I am Scarry Navarro, a drama, drama King, where life is drama, drama is life, where I talk about telenovelas, drama, dramas, and even a bit of a dose of real life without my intention ever becoming a drama channel but but let's get started in the year 1992 I was born in Monterey Park and I am officially currently 28 years old but I'll let you guys know about the Nuez that came out around the year I was born let's get started all right in 1992 a novela called Antilles in Paraiso came and it starts Anaí and it definitely talks about two kids who are trying to escape from an, from an evil aunt who will do anything for their fortune and they start to find their own their mother and so many adventures and things happen around around their universe all right baila conmigo baila conmigo stars bb gaitan eduardo capetillo la chica dorada paulina rubio and rafael rojas it talks about a love story in the during the 1950s rock and roll era in which one in which one it talks about teenagers and sing, it has music, songs, and everything related to rock and roll. All right, Cara Sucia. Cara Sucia is another adaptation of La Gata, except it stars Sonia Smith and Guillermo Davila. It talks about the poor. It talks about the poor girl who who winds up becoming rich. It definitely it's basically the typical Cinderella story, and it was aired in Venevisión in the year in, nine, in the same in 1992. All right, Carusel de las Américas. Carusel de las Américas is a sequel to the 1989 telenovela Carusel, which starts, which starts Gabriela Rivero as the, as the maestra Jimena. And this time though, it definitely has a new cast and, you, and kind of like the same characteristics though, but it didn't do as well as the, nine, as the original 1989 version. All right, De Frente a Sol. De Frente a Sol is a telenovela which, which starts Maria Surte, Angelica Aragón, and the, ever contra the now controversial Alfredo Adame. It definitely talks about two women who cross paths and explore and deal with different situations with their daughters and with their lives. And definitely it was produced by Carla Sara and definitely helped pave the way for actors like Eduardo Santamarina, Arcelia Ramirez, and Tati Cantoral, and many more. And it's definitely one of the novelas that I definitely like though. And in a year later, it was spawned a sequel called Más Allá del Puente. All right. El Abuelo y Yo. El Abuelo y Yo is ours, Dominica Paleta, Gael García Bernal, and the, and the, and Jorge Martínez de Hoyos, and Evangelina Elizondo. Definitely, and even has the great resortes. It talks about two kids who encounter each other from different backgrounds and encounter an old man in which one they explore different adventures and it's definitely for all ages for all, for everyone and it did very well in that year. En Cuerpo Ajeno. En Cuerpo Ajeno was the original telenovela to El Cuerpo Deseo, En Otra Piel, Amar a Muerte and definitely talks about reincarnation and how a young man reincarnates of, of a dead older man and Seeking revenge for what they, for what his wife and her lover did to him, which would span not just it not only became that huge success in Colombia, but would become an adaptation, would become adapted later on in the next dec in the next two decades. All right, the next novela that I have is Cassandra. Cassandra is the third adaptation of Peregrina, which is a telenovela that was made in the year nineteen seventy three. And then it was then remade, but it didn't, it was cut short, called La Muchacha del Circo. And this is another story, Coraima Torres and Osvaldo Rios, and definitely talks about a young gypsy girl who is, who is from the circus, who finds out that she's a daughter of Richmond, and then she falls in love with this, with a guy, and has a twin brother, and then there's a huge enredo that is going on. And it definitely broke the Guinness World Records of countries. It definitely of the of more than hundreds of countries have aired Cassandra. 
ever since and hopefully I can find it hopefully it's on the Eresa TV app which by the way though it's already out now for those who love Venezuelan telenovelas as she goes from Eresa TV and please get that now alright then another telenovela that I definitely um remember though is La Loba Herida La Loba, La Loba Herida is a telenovela that's Mariel Alcalá Carlos Montilla Luis Fernandez and Julie Restifo it talks about a young woman who was being persecuted by by an evil evil bitch and is attract and two brothers are attracted to her and it's a non-stop it's a non-stop craziness but it definitely has Asti Carolina Herrera playing playing three characters in which one it's about a young woman who who would dress up as a man and then would become a gypsy who pretends to be a, who becomes a gypsy which is a very interesting interesting take on this and definitely it's an amazing drama and another thing is Las Dos Dianas Las Dos Dianas are Carlos Mata and Noelia Artiaga it was produced by Marte TV both of them were produced La Loba Herida and Las Dos Dianas it's about a young woman who after being abused by by by, by several men in which one on the way though she goes on a journey of revenge and even to the point though her daughter would end up paying the cost and even though like I haven't seen the entire one but I did see clips clips of it and it's a really good drama though but it definitely has a very 90s feel to it but overall though it's a really great telenovela another telenovela is Las Secretas Intenciones which starts Cristian Castro and Yolanda Andrade it's about it's about two two investigators who who end up investigating this woman who killed her husband and it's it's something that I have not had a chance to see but it definitely came out this, the year I was born and it also has Elena Roja as a villain so please watch out for that one and who I cannot forget to mention this one Maria Mercedes Maria Mercedes said de mi familia encargo yo which was the first of the three Maria las tres Marias which one talks about a poor about another a poor girl who who marries a rich man and her family who want to to destroy her at all costs and tries to marry the son and it's crazy but it's an adaptation it's another adaptation of Ines Rodenas La Italianita which one which in Mexico it was already done 15 years before Corina which was made in 1977 and definitely would be done as we all know it as La Tres Marias and definitely paved, beca would become an internalized the interna internationalization of Thalia in the world of telenovelas all right another telenovela that I'm also talk about is Por Estas Calles Por Estas Calles talked about the realities of Venezuela ongoing in the early 90s and it was spanned to two years from 1992 to 1994 and the original leads were Maria Alejandra Martin and Aroldo Betancourt and it wasn't until Gladys Ibarra's Eloína and Franklin Virgüez's characters became stole the show and stood out and it definitely the song is still memorable and this telenovela till this day all right then another telenovela I'm gonna talk about is Sangre de Lobo. Sangre de Lobo stars Aura Cristina Gazer and it talks about a very controversial story about a young woman who falls in love for a priest. It was made in Colombia and it was it also competed at the same time with in Cuerpo Ajeno as both of them were very were very successful and in 1998 TV Azteca would create a remake called Tentaciones which stars Jose Angel Llamas and and um Lorena and the late Lorena Rojas and unfortunately it was pulled off the air because of this controversial subject though but but please check that out whenever you can another telenovela that I'm going to talk about is Vamp Vamp is a Brazilian telenovela that's produced by TV Globo by Hedge Globo and it starts Claudia Ojana, Reginaldo Faria, Fabio Asuncion, Joana Fom it talks about a young singer who sells herself who sells her soul for for the evil vampire Vlad, which was played by Neila Tohaka. And it was and it's about and it's crazy and it talks about a blended family and 
overall though it was uh, one of the most successful telenovelas of the early 90s especially from 91 92 all right and and then so far what was my favorite telenovela? and i forgot to mention maria elena maria elena is a tel is an american telenovela that was produced in miami which stars Lucia Mendes and Eduardo Yanes and the great Sully Montero. And it's an it's the adaptation of a Delia Fiario classic called Querida Mama, which which was made ten years before, which starred Hilda Carrero and Eduardo Serrano in Venezuela. And in this version though, did around the ending though, in which one the wife finds out that the, 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 the Maria Elena was was her was Luis Felipe's lover. And in which one it would lead to a, a shooting, but this one though it to a, her death and to Claudia's death, and then but overall though um it definitely was a huge smash hit, and the song though se acabo, se acabo, se acabo. and please bear my singing, but overall though it definitely was huge, and I remember watching it on TV Azteca, on Channel Fifty Four, which was TV Azteca. And definitely, though, I love the entrance and the big Marge Simpson-esque hair that Lucia had. And overall, it was a really good telenovela, especially for being produced in Miami. And it was originally in Telemundo. So what was my favorite telenovela? What was my favorite tele what telenovelas of them all? Well, and it's gotta be... One, De Frente al Sol. De Frente al Sol is a telenovela that's very relatable and it talks about lots of issues such, such as discrimination, such as harassment. So many things that are relatable though and which one, it definitely spawned a sequel as I said earlier. But I definitely want people to recommend it, give it a chance though. And if there's clips out there, please, there's clips on YouTube though. But overall though, it's a telenovela that I definitely definitely enjoyed though another thing that I definitely liked was Maria Elena which one has a typical Delia Fiera story but it's one much more interesting though and it definitely talks about a woman who falls in love for a man who's married to a much older woman or what we consider nowadays a cougar and it's a very interesting take though especially on how people take this and you know what's also funny though um, because I also love Que Pasa USA the actor who played Pepe Pepe, Pen, um, Pepe also was in the telenovela, and the actor who played the grandfather also was in the telenovela, but he passed and was replaced by another actor, which is also interesting. And it was um, Manolo Villaverde and Luis Oquendo, which one. Um, I'm going to see if I can one day do a video of Que Pasa USA in the near future, but overall, though, this one, though, definitely stands out to me as well because it's like it's a small world. Do you get me? And another telenovela that I definitely um, need to mention, and please forgive me, I'm on my phone though, but sometimes though I forget. But overall though, um, these are the two that definitely stood out. And in Cuerpo Ajeno, which one, it definitely was massive. And if it wasn't for the success that in Cuerpo Ajeno had, which had Danilo Santos, Amparo Grisales, and overall though, Overall, the story of reincarnation and so many things that span into it, though, definitely made the success that it deserved, though. And if you guys want to watch it, it definitely, it definitely try to check it on YouTube when you can. And overall, though, those three are my favorites overall, though. Some of them I've already seen, some of them that kind of like are pretty good. But these are the three that stood out to me the most on a personal level. And especially in the early 90s, how things would change overall. And if you guys like this video, um, if you guys have any, or if you guys have any thoughts, questions, comments, or concerns, though, please put them in the comment section down below. And let me know if you guys want me to do any type of video on the year on the telemas came out during when I was a child, when I was growing up. I kind of want to like expand more on my personal takes and also tell you guys about not just the novella but also drama adaptations as well of a certain book or a certain genre but please let me know um of anything 
And if there's anything else that I'm missing or that I completely forgot to mention, please let me know as well. And if you guys want me to do a video about dramas in, in, in telenovelas in Spanish, though, please let me know as well. I'll try my best, though. But overall, thank you guys and have a wonderful night. Stay safe. Take rest. Please wear a mask if you're going out. And please, if you're experiencing anything, though, please make sure, or if you need it for work, though, please make sure to get tested as soon as possible. All right, guys, please take care and, and see you guys in another, in another video. Thank you.